Paint BI requests are a new way of working with satellite imagery, processing data in the cloud before accessing the products directly within your code. But what exactly is an API request? API stands for Application Programming Interface. An API is a piece of code that forms a machine-to-machine -machine interface, allowing your code to communicate with the server taking care of data management. In Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem, this communication goes beyond asking the server for an already existing dataset. APIs enable you to create new data products without transferring the necessary images to your computer. Imagine a drive-in restaurant where you can exactly tell the chef how to prepare your food. This is what an API request is like. You list the ingredients, your preferred process of cooking, your choice packaging, you pay with your ID and it is ready to eat. Similarly, an API request includes the list of ingredients and how to clean them. This is the data collection and filtering with the area of interest and data quality. The process for preparation, these are the mathematical operations you carry out with the pixel values. The packaging, which is the output data format, and your credentials for identification. Instead of buying groceries and cooking at home, or choosing from a small selection of already packaged meals, you instantly get exactly what you want to eat. Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem has different API families. Catalog APIs need the data collection, the filters and the area of interest, and they return a list of datasets available that fulfill your criteria. OGC APIs allow you to create a custom data product with a modeling script and serve it in a format directly accessible to desktop GIS software, mobile mapping solutions or web apps. Sentinel Hub APIs can provide you with a data catalog, a pre-processed image, including spectral indices, classification or similar operations, or even the results of a statistical calculation on a time series of images. This API enables you to create a complete end-to-end -end analysis pipeline and visualize the results in the Copernicus browser. Batch version of these APIs can process large datasets with multiple threads in a highly efficient way, sending the results to object storage. OpenEO APIs are compatible with a vast variety of data sources, processing operations and cloud providers. They can integrate data from various formats and enable you to build code in several programming languages. OpenEO can even accommodate complex physical models in the API request process. OpenEO is a completely open source solution. Finally, on-demand processing APIs can deliver custom data products from large datasets and multiple sources, including asynchronous processing, including intermediate processing levels of sensor data. The results are also written to object storage and can be downloaded in a separate step. All in all, APIs provide an efficient way to access satellite imagery. Instead of transferring data in predefined units and processing it locally, you can create a series of analysis steps that all run in the cloud and quickly prepare actionable data products for your area and time of interest. Explore the selection of APIs in Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem using the Copernicus Browser, the Jupyter Lab, and our documentation.